last session we talked about to find out the exact position of a point of intersection that we are solving simultaneous equation is fulfill the circle requirement at the same time fulfill the straight line requirement that's why we are talking about the intercept point in order to find out the exact position of the intercept point then we are going to solve this simultaneous equation so uh, we find that y is the subjects already then we can copy down the first equation and then give a bracket for y and try to express it in terms of x before that there is two unknown uh, it's difficult for us to solve it but now only express in one unknown so it's much easier to handle we find x 2x squared plus 2x is equal to 0 both sides divided by 2 x squared plus x equal to 0 and x times x plus 1 equal to 0 so we get the exact position of x is equal to 0 or x is equal to negative 1 in this case if we have uh, the whole picture of the equations then we can solve it like this that means without any k be the unknown of coefficient and then if we talk about exact position is x equal to 0 then you may get the corresponding y 1 and then when x is negative 1 then y equal to 0 but sometimes maybe we don't need to know the exact position we just want to know how many points of intersection that means is there two points in this case only one point and there is no point of intersection in this case it reaches about how many points is that two points one point or no points it's easier to find out in both situations we are considering the simultaneous equation but at this step we get 2x squared plus 2x plus 0 equal to 0 so we write in the quadratic format and then we ask you how many points at the same time that means we are asking how many real roots here therefore you use the method to distinguish how many real roots here which is considered delta this delta is an indicator if this indicator is larger than zero that means we have two distinct real roots if it is equal to zero we have one root only and if there is no real roots then delta is smaller than zero so we write down the situation like this and delta is what you learn in uh, form 4 is part of the quadratic equation b squared minus 4ac and abc representing the coefficient of corresponding term we are going to compare with ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 so a is refer to 2 2 x squared here b is how many x we have positive 2 times so b is 2 also c is the constant here it is plus 0 so c is equal to 0 then we substitute the value 2 squared minus 4 times 2 times c that means 4 minus 0 that means 4 the key point is not the value the key point is 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 larger than 0 since delta is larger than 0 that means we have two distinct real roots to fulfill the simultaneous equations that means there are two points of intersection 